फ्रेंड्स दिस चैनल इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय न्यूटन स्कूल न्यूटन स्कूल एक काफी अच्छी प्लेटफॉर्म है जो कि आपको सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री में जॉब लेने में हेल्प करती है न्यूटन स्कूल की अभी एक न्यू बैच स्टार्ट होने वाली है जिसकी लाइक uh, ज्वाइन like, करने की रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन पे मिल जाएगी सो so, आप डिस्क्रिप्शन चेक कर सकते हो वहां पर जो फर्स्ट लिंक है वो लिंक पे क्लिक करके आप न्यूटन स्कूल के न्यू बैच को ज्वाइन कर सकते हो एंड अगर आपको एक्सप्लोर करना है कि न्यूटन स्कूल के जो प्रीवियस स्टूडेंट है उनका क्या रिकॉर्ड रहा है अभी कौन से कंपनी में प्लेस्ड है या न्यूटन स्कूल में आपको कौन कौन से कंपनी की टाइप है ये सब कुछ आप चेक कर सकते हो न्यूटन स्कूल के वेबसाइट पे जाके जिसकी लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगी सो so, मैं एक रफ एस्टिमेट बताती हूँ कि अभी न्यूटन स्कूल का 150 फिफ्टी प्लस कंपनी से टाइप है जिसमें कि न्यूटन स्कूल आपको प्लेसमेंट लेने में हेल्प कर सकती है सो यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक ऑफ न्यूटन स्कूल एंड यू कैन चेक आउट डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर दैट हेलो एवरी वेलकम टू माई चैनल so today i have invited priya so priya is my college junior and one interesting thing about her is she is really like very good in computer science as well as in electronics so in today's video we will discuss how being from electronics student and being very good at at electronics you can prepare for computer science so hi priya thank you thank you for accepting my invitation so could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you um hi everyone this is priya pandey and uh, currently i am a program associate at uh, wells fargo and I, as the already told you uh, i am her junior in college so actually in my college days uh, i have a major in electronics and communication so in my college days i was actually very much into ec i was preparing rigorously for gate i actually gave gate twice and um, i uh, whole my college life i was uh, like i have to clear gate and i have to go for ec ms research and then phd uh, all kind of stuffs even uh, uh, amritanjali she also she used to suggest me that uh, you can go for coding and all stuffs it's also very interesting they wanted me to join uh, a coding groups as well in my college but i was not into coding that much at that point of time then i gave my gate in 20, gate 2022 and i couldn't do well in that so i was uh, uh, very much heartbroken after that i thought i don't know what is going to happen and uh, as you know i saw amritanjali di her advertisements everywhere in my college she is very famous there like she has she from a ec background she has she is the only person who has reached google till now from our college so uh, i actually took her inspiration and i started uh, coding i was familiar with uh, java uh, as i had icac background so i was uh, very much into java then i learned c++ in class 12 uh, so these two concepts and i have done somewhat uh, uh, very little coding in uh, first year of uh, Uh, college so what i thought was uh, let me try this field once i don't know whether i'll be able to do this really well or not but uh, i actually went on youtube channel code with harry and i started dsa from there and trust me everyone even all the ec guys who think that you are you cannot do well in csc trust me it is nothing as such you will actually do better in csc than ec uh, than any other csc guys like we ec guys we can do much much better than csc ones i don't know why i feel this so for uh, i started my coding this year itself in february uh, 2022 and within 4 months i completed my dsa course i went uh, i practiced rigorously on gfg and uh, i was um, more into then i got a internship in web development as well so i have done uh, all of these i have done in four years of uh, four months of time so i'll tell you uh, one more thing i got an offer from texas instruments itself actually i have cleared the first round the interviews are still going on so i was also into ec i'm good at ec and i also i am a program associate at uh, wells fargo itself so i balanced both so i guess um, you people can also do it uh, according to me
yeah so that's really great and when priya is saying it's four months now it's not just four months she is really hard working she worked like a, like i personally like mai tumhe college se jaanti hu mai tumhe dekhi hu ki tum study room mein baith ke kaise padhai karti thi actually we really both used to sit together so yeah four I'm months kidding. like if she is saying four month na it's something like ki kisi person ka one year is equivalent to priya's four month <laughs> टेलिंग यू दैट तू तो टीसीएस में ही जाएगी इतनी कोडिंग क्यों कर रही है आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर दैट थिंग बट यू आर अ इंस्पिरेशन आई आई i can tell you personally what i at some some point of time i have been a ec graduate and then um, switching to cse i felt like giving up because i was not getting what i deserved actually i used to work really hard like in uh, four years of college i had very good cgpa in ec itself it's 9.2 this top i was <laughs> topper of ec ec <laughs> so i what i used to feel like uh, that yaar itna easy kiya itna easy kiya aur ab give up kar rahi hu aur cse mein bhi kuch nahi ho raha then a thought came in my mind amrit anjali di ne kiya tha mere college se thi wo wo aaj uh, she were you were in microsoft by then i thought mai bhi kar sakti hu let's do it karte hain and i i find cse very interesting as well matlab uh, when you are in ec to you are uh, my mean you will i was into core ec like i used to study gate subjects and aptitude was a, i prepared aptitude for gate as well so i was very much into ec thing but later on i realized that cse is not a very big deal anyone from any background if whether it's ec electrical or uh, any background anyone from any background can go for cse it's like uh, um, i mean if you have brain if you have iq you can do it it's 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 very easy it's not about the ec or cs it's about problem solving or ec yeah, if you are preparing for get also na you are preparing for problem solving and if yeah, you will exactly. see the subject of ec they are vlsi vlsi mein kya hota hai logic lagana hota hai same logic hmm. lagana kahan pe hota hai jab hum log uh, da se karte hain so it's like ki problem solving you should be good in problem solving it's not about ec cs mechanical or anything and i have to tell you one thing i got a interview from iit madras like uh, uh, for ms and phd and you know what us interview mein wo log dsa pe zyada focus kar rahe the <laughs> and they were like taking me i was there for vlsi ms plus phd and those guys those professors they are from iit madras they were actually focusing on dsa and they gave me three questions which was a combination of digital electronics and dsa we had to uh, solve using dsa thing so i was like man whether you are a ec graduate or a cac graduate dsa is compulsory for everyone they will check your iq problem solving skills through dsa only agar kisi ko tumne bola ki tumhe agar tumhe dsa aati hai to the other person he will like judge you ki ha the person has a very good problem solving skills that's it this is the only thing required and there is nothing as branch specific every branch they, those people they will ask you dsa whether you are from ec electrical really very important advice like lots of student used to focus on completing number of question it's not about the number of question it's about the quality of question it's about the like how you are developing your problem solving skill it might be possible that you have developed your problem solving skill by just solving a uh, aptitude question so yes yeah. all about problem solving skill ha uh, it's all about you will take time like uh, these four months they are not easy for me i uh, you can uh, contact my friends those people who were in touch with me i i used to work like 2 am in the night like i i actually for the last two months before the uh, validation for thing for this thing i have all like mai khud college mein ye sab dekh chuki hu ki tum kaise mehnat karte the I also I was like, like uh, solving... first day I met you na like the first day that intro period of first year that day I like uh, I thought that yeah she, she is having potential she will really do great in her life 
so <laughs> actually yeah and she was uh, and amrit anki she used to force me yaar endeavor join karo you will you will be like uh, go into core coding you will do this you will do that but uh, yeah i i now i understand what you exactly wanted to tell us like develop your problem solving skills uh, don't go for branch specific things Yeah. So yeah. Th- this and is the also advice. Also, I, I want to add one more point here. See, is really active in sports and other activity like she was in uh, NCC, right? So yeah. it's not like he she studied, studied, and only studied. She have balanced everything like uh, her health, uh, physics, and like something like a physical uh, activity, some uh, NCC and all. Uh, EC, CGPA, <laughs> computer science, like like you are the real example of all rounder. I can say. <laughs> <laughs> no actually uh, i'll tell you uh, uh, developing a problem solving skill or getting into real world it's not so difficult like balance you need a life balance in your life i mean you need to balance everything in your life then only you will su- succeed that is what i am going through induction in my corporate and that is what those people are also saying that you need pro- uh, productivity hacks like you need to be physically active as well otherwise how will your mind will function correct so, so this is like a really good advice and you are setting also a bar high for your junior so yeah it's like consequently like uh, i graduated in 2020 uh, like 2021 and you graduated in 2022 and it's like uh, easy girls are looking yeah actually i mean uh, people uh, we, uh, we we are the ones who have got the highest package in our college and that too from easy background <laughs> and also no. you were the only girl in your uh, batch right yeah i was the only girl in my uh, ece batch from jnu yeah. <laughs> so so it's really a great advice for all of you like uh, you can take a uh, one point from this entire point uh, entire podcast is you should be good in problem solving skill no matter like uh, you are preparing for ece cse mechanical or anything your main target should be to improve your problem solving skill if you are improving your problem solving skill then you will uh, do well in any field like whether it's a ece or cse or even you are preparing for cat and anything everywhere they are just judging your problem solving skills not else yeah so yeah I, actually I, you should be more into problem solving you should be more active and you should not fear anything that i am a ec graduate how will i uh, cope up with cse stuff no it's it's not like that if you are willing to do it you will do it correct yeah so i think i have asked all the question from you like if you want to give some advice and suggestion especially for the student like you have already uh, like gave a lot of advice but still if you want to end up this podcast with few lines then uh, like uh, yeah like, sure yeah. many of my juniors they were calling me the i am from ec background actually i am preparing for gate so do i uh, set for placements or not this is the question of many juniors here so i'll tell you one thing always set for placements if you are not into core coding go for uh, placements uh, that are uh, non uh, that require that do not require coding at all like uh, there will be many uh, uh, positions uh, there to where coding is not required so go for that but please set in the placements because you will come to know what is your preparation le- level what is your mindset how is your iq and second thing i guess you everyone should go for dsa because it's a basic requirement in today's world if you are a engineering graduate because you need to develop that problem solving skill uh, either it is today or tomorrow that is the requirement of industry so yes uh, everyone for, it's for everyone whether you are from any background develop your po- problem solving skills this is the only advice that i'll give you and uh, this is what i did this is what amritanjali did did and this is what everyone around who is uh, successful in their uh, career they all are doing that only they are developing their po- problem solving skills so this is really a great podcast thank you thank you for like uh, accepting this invitation like it's like uh, i like uh, i thought that if you like if you were like I, when you got selected at uh, well fargo na i thought that she was very good in electronics <laughs> like i used to <laughs> ask her to do csc at that time she used to say no 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 i will do phd i will do this <laughs> and right now she cracked a really good company so that day i, I really got uh, like some soft kind of thing <laughs> yeah <laughs>
<laughs> yeah I, i remember our first and second year of interaction so it all went in that only do coding i was like no i have to do a masters and phd okay so yeah <laughs> okay so thank you so much for watching this podcast and uh, you can yeah, like thank you the video <laughs> and subscribe this channel <laughs> I yeah, uh, please like and subscribe and thank you deep uh, for inviting me here it was nice interacting with all of you and you are obviously you as well <laughs> thank you